This is an eggplant, and today we're going to be making a vegan eggplant parm. Now here's the thing, I don't like eggplant, and so I know you're probably thinking, why did you make us an eggplant recipe? Well, when I asked you guys what vegetables you wanted help with, there was an overwhelming response for eggplant, okay? People wanted to like eggplant, wanted to make more eggplant recipes, and as somebody who is a self-proclaimed eggplant hater, I loved this recipe. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to peel your eggplant because that skin on there is just thick and I don't like it and I want it off, okay? So we got a little naked eggplant and we are going to cut it up. My first eggplant was bad. This is good inside. I was showing you so you could actually just see the difference. And my other gripe that I kind of have with eggplant is that it's always mushy. Why are eggplant dishes always mushy, okay? This is not mushy and I think that's why I liked it. So I cut the eggplant into little thin pieces and I cut those in half to make kind of like, I'm calling them eggplant cutlets. Now, a very important step when it comes to eggplants are salting the eggplants. You're just gonna put a little bit of salt over each of the pieces and you'll see all that liquid and water get drawn out. You see it on top? It's actually pretty cool. We love science around here. So it gets all drawn out and that's really great because it helps your eggplant not to be mushy. So just take the time and pat them all off. I just think this is so cool. I don't know why. It like really amazed me to see all the water right on top. Now we're going to bread it. We're going to first coat it in cornstarch, help give a crispy base to it. Then it goes into non-dairy milk. I like to use ripple milk. You can use any non-dairy milk you like. Just make sure it's unsweet and unflavored so you don't end up with vanilla tasting eggplant parm, although that could be interesting. Probably not delicious though. <laughs> and then you're going to coat it in breadcrumbs. I'm doing a combination of panko breadcrumbs and then they've seasoned them with the seasonings I like to do. So you can add my seasonings or use any seasonings that you like. And you will just repeat the process with all your eggplant pieces and I'm popping them onto a baking sheet because we're gonna bake these. Now here's a little bit of fun family history, I guess, for you. My great grandma was apparently very famous for her eggplant parm. She passed away in 20... 2008 maybe and I never tried her eggplant parm unfortunately because I just I didn't like eggplant and I didn't want to have it but I wish I did so I feel like she helped me and helped me make this recipe good because this was her specialty so we pop this in the oven for 20 minutes spray it with oil so it gets nice and crispy and then you're going to flip them and you could also of course like deep fry these or pan fry these if you want or air fry them but I just find it's easiest to bake them since you have like a lot of eggplant cutlets to deal with back in the oven for five minutes we're going to make our vegan mozzarella cheese sauce I do this all the time if you've watched my other videos you've seen me do this I just mix the non-dairy milk and the vegan cheese that I'm using it helps to make a thicker gooier already melted much more appealing looking vegan cheese and then you're going to use tomato sauce you can make homemade if you want I just like to use like Rayo's tastes really good so I'm just going to spread it onto my eggplant cutlet add our vegan cheese on there and you could eat this as is but I do pop it back in the oven just for a few minutes to really warm everything up and make sure it's like kind of just all working as one unit you know what I mean and yeah so once you get all of it on there that's pretty much all you have to do I was actually so surprised how much I like this recipe because I just, I'm not an eggplant person. Like my whole life I've been like, I don't like eggplant. I don't like mushrooms. And I don't know, maybe I still don't like eggplant. Maybe I don't really like this version of eggplant, but this was delicious. And like I said, I think it's because it's crispy and not mushy. And I think like a lot of places make the eggplant parm and they like layer it up and it's just not for me. So, you know, we got to add some greenery on top. It just makes everything look beautiful. And that's it. Now you have this amazing eggplant parm. Pair it with some pasta, salad, garlic knots, breadsticks, something fun. And it's so good. Recipe is in the description box down below on my blog check it out let me know if you like this recipe and if you try it let me know how it goes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon with another video bye